Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mawahib and in today's video I'm going to be test burning the candles I made in my previous video which I'll link down below if you haven't seen that yet. For more videos please hit that subscribe button down below. Alright, so now I'm going to measure the diameter of my candle vessel or container. It's 2 inches in diameter which means the candle should take around 1 hour to 2 hours to reach a full melt pool. Now I'm going to set a timer for 4 hours and keep checking and recording my results every hour. And by the way, I'm so grateful for all the love and support of my previous video. It's been over an hour on burning the candle, the wick is too big for the jar and the melt pool is way too deep for over an hour burn, so I'll need a smaller wick. It's just over 2 hours and the hot throw of the candle was okay but not as strong as I would like it to be. After 4 hours of burn testing, blow out your candles with a snuffer or gently blow it out. Leave your candle to cool overnight, trim the wick and test burn once again. Now I'm going to repeat the process of test burning the cotton wick candle. I burnt my hand here a little so please be careful when turning your candles on. Now I'm going to set a timer for 4 hours and continuously check and record my results. Even though my candle has reached a full melt pool in 1 hour my wick is still big. I'd prefer my candle to reach a full melt pool at 2 hours or 1 hour and 30 minutes. As you guys can see here at 2 hours the melt pool is way too deep and a really large wick can have the possibility of cracking the glass if it's overheated. One of many ways that I know my wick is too large for the jar when the flame is dancing or flickering way too much. At 4 hours, half the candle has already been burnt, which is another sign that the wick is too large and the wick has also mushroomed. In terms of the hot throw of the candle, I would have liked it to be a little bit stronger than what it is given off. I'm going to blow my candle out with a dipper. I really love the candle sniffer and dipper because you don't get that smoky smell when blowing the candle out. Leave the candle to cool overnight, then trim the wick to test burn once again. After leaving both candles to cool overnight, I realized some discoloration in the wax and that happened because the wax was getting too hot when burning. I'll definitely be wicking down next time I test in these jars. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a huge thumbs up, leave a comment on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and hit that bell button to get notified every time I post. See you in the next one. Bye bye!